life, love, and pop pop culture. Hi, I'm Danielle Delgado. I'm John Lindahl, and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Okay, I feel like today is like an X Factor takeover because you also got your start on the X Factor. Yes, I was on the X Factor when I was 14 years old in the premiere season. It was uh, 2011. That was when I first auditioned. I was a youngin at 14, and now I'm I'm still pretty young. I'm, I'm, I just turned 21, so yeah, it's it's like it's been a while, but I've been trying to work to accomplish as much as I can in those years, and I'm really grateful that everyone also from X Factor is here pretty much too. So. I talked to the boys, and they said that their lives have changed a lot since they first started. How would you say your life has changed? My life has changed in terms of just the people that I've met through it and the people that uh, that know me in a way, in terms of people within the industry, uh, because I actually got had, had a record deal um, and one and the person that signed me was, was a judge on the show. So I honestly, it, it opened a lot of doors in terms of connections, and I'm so grateful for everything that it's given me in that way, because people took me a lot took me a lot more seriously because of it in a way, because I have experience on live television and national television, you know. So that I think the main thing that I would say that changed was people within the industry knew who I was, and I had more of an in, you know, as opposed to kind of trying to find my way in in a way. What would you say was the best advice that you got that you can give to somebody out there trying to be in your shoes one day? Best advice? Oh, oh, it's, it sounds it sounds so cliche, but honestly, it, what I've learned about the music industry is that you are you are genuinely going to get knocked down a million times. Anything, honestly, in life too, but anything, yeah. entertainment especially, you're gonna get knocked down a million times. And I think I honestly feel like everyone can get where they want to get to if, you, if they just keep pressing on you have to just keep standing up when they knock you down because a lot of times it has nothing to do with you even it's, it's just the situ it's just situational you know but I've learned that just as long as you just keep pushing and keep getting back up because I've been knocked down a million times but I just everyone is like John why do you keep coming back why do you keep doing that you just keep on fighting and that's the main thing I've learned is just if you keep on fighting and keep on keep that dream alive then nothing can stop you no, that's a good lesson. Never give up on your dreams because if you want it bad enough, it'll happen, right? Yeah, it's literally just, it's it comes down to how bad you want it, really. You know, and that's, and if you want it bad enough, it'll happen. Okay, we have to talk about your YouTube videos because I love how you kind of mix up your covers. Yes. My favorite is Ain't No Crying in the Club. Oh, that's your favorite? That's awesome. Yeah, uh, actually, my buddy, he's, he, he's in here. He actually filmed those with me. But he's, uh, but uh, yeah, Crying in the Club. I actually met Camila Cabello. We were label mates a while back, and she, uh, and we used to go into each other's sessions and hang out and like talk and stuff like that. So when she released that song, I'm like, I have to cover this. I, I have to like, I totally have to pay homage to her because she's awesome. And I, I do like to reproduce my beat. I like reproduce in my studio. If you see, as you can see, it's a really small, tiny studio. But I've made records on my EP in that same studio. But yeah, I always like to reproduce my beats, record my vocals in a different way than the song, but without losing the integrity of what the song is, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's been fun. Can I hear a little bit of that song? Because that's my favorite song. Oh, oh, I'm trying to remember. I've done so many covers. It's like, um, it's like, Hey, hey, let the beat carry the tears as they fall, baby. Ain't no crying in the club. I'm just going to mouth it because I can't sing. Yes. That, was that, that was it, right? I haven't heard this record in a minute because I've been, I've been so focused on my stuff in the studio. I haven't been like listening to anything yet. Yeah. Well, speaking of the studio, I heard that you have new music coming out. Yes, I just released my uh, first single with Elysium, Logic's new label, yesterday. On all platforms, it's everywhere, so go get it. Streaming, anything, check it out. It's called Contagious by John Lindahl. It's, it's, I think it's a good song. I hope you think it's a good song. <laughs> but, uh, I look forward to hearing this. Uh, awesome. And, uh, my, but yeah, my EP is called Changes, so funny enough, I just, I just got the merch today. It's called Changes. Uh, and that's coming out on December 1st. If you can collaborate with anybody, who would it be and why? Alive, alive or dead? Can I, can I do both or, or just... Do whatever you want. Okay, I'll do... Okay, well, I have to collaborate with... I'd love to collaborate with some... But then I'd feel bad because I'd be on the same track. Like, I'd love to collaborate with like Freddie Mercury that would, from Queen. That would be sick. Or Michael Jackson. Apparently, they made a collaboration album that's like leaked somewhere. And I need to go find it because they're some of the most incredible entertainers ever. So that would be amazing. Freddie Mercury or Michael, though those are some good ones. But honestly, I would love to collaborate with so many people. The list can go on forever. But if I only have two, I would just go with those guys right now. All right, so you're here to perform tonight to kick off the holiday season. Are you excited? Of course I'm excited. It's Christmas time. It's like, it, honestly, it, it's actually a month away from Christmas. But you know what? It's all good. Uh, I'm... I love the holidays because I love the, the 
the overall feeling of togetherness, not even just within families, but within just people in general. Like, I feel like people are just nicer to each other around this time because everyone's just happier in a way for the most part. I mean, I've, I've experienced that a lot. and. I'm excited to kick off the holiday season at one of my favorite places, the Citadel, so this is going to be amazing. When I was like little, it was a tradition that my parents would take us to see the lights. Are there any traditions that you're looking forward to? Oh, it's funny. We, we actually would go to, because we still, um, my family still goes and gets an actual tree from the tree farm. And it's been a tradition that we always, because the tree farm that we go to is pretty big. And so we, we play this like mass, my mom, my dad, and my sister and I play this like massive game of tag just up in there. So it's, it's, it's pretty intense. It, it, it gets competitive, you know, feelings get hurt, dreams are broken. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just I'm, very I'm competitive. I'm, I'm totally kidding. But no, it's very, it's a, uh, we do that every year. So that's, I'm excited. That's so fun. Well, I hope you have like a great holiday with your family and thank you. It was nice to meet you. It was so nice to meet you too. Yeah. Life, love, and pop pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.